Hey guys, and welcome to a slightly different version of my normal style of vlog. Basically, what we're going to do today is dedicate this whole vlog, this whole video, towards the comparison of these two cameras. I've finally got my hands on the Canon S120 and the Canon G7X. So we're going to compare them, we're going to test the audio, we're going to test the video, we're going to test them in like low light, in everyday normal vlogging conditions and stuff. So let's get straight onto it and see which one's better. Okay, so this is the G7X. And if we open it straight up, what have we got? We've got some instructions, probably some warranties and stuff. Things what no one ever pays any attention to. <laughs> Open this one up. Okay, so I'm guessing this here. This is going to be the camera itself. There it is, looking all lovely. We have the flip out screen. Just looks like a beautiful camera. Okay, so what else do we have in the box? We have just the battery, a little wrist strap. And then under here is the charger and the charging block. Cool, okay. So we take a closer little look at the G7X now. It's got a nice kind of scratchy metal surface, kind of grippy and stuff. And on the back, we've got a little thumb holder for ease of use. The screen feels like it's durable enough. It doesn't feel plasticky or flimsy in any way. It feels like it's gonna survive everyday use being used. Obviously for a daily vlogger, we need it to be heavy duty enough and survive. And even if you drop it, I think this will survive. It feels like it's heavy duty and durable enough. If we compare it size wise to the S120, as you can see, it's pretty much identical in the body size shape. Uh, the only difference is the thickness. If we put them side by side, you can just see that the G7X is just slightly thicker than the S120. Obviously it has the flip out screen as well, which makes it slightly thicker. One thing I've noticed is when you put these in and you want to shut this closed, it doesn't click shut. You actually have to pull the little catch over to click it shut. Nothing bad, but just something which I would have liked to have seen how I can just click it shut without having to pull this little tag over here. Weight wise, it's pretty much identical to the S120s, ever so slightly heavier. You wouldn't really notice it that much. So let's see what it's like in the actual vlog world. Okay, so now we're bringing the cameras out into the field. Literally, whoa, literally into the field. We're just walking a little Riley Pooch at the moment. I thought now will be a good time to test these cameras side by side because obviously I want to use this camera every day for vlogging. Today for me is day 300, 300 consecutive vlogs in a row. That's kind of crazy. So I thought now is a good time to compare these with a bit of wind, neither of them are wearing any like wind mufflers or wind socks or anything. So what you hear is what you get. And what you see is what you get. I'm not putting any color correction on or anything. So now I'm just gonna to switch to the S120 and show you what the image quality is like. And I'll back over to the G7X. Look at that, there's a good boy. All right, so now I'm gonna put some side-by-side -side comparisons of both cameras and see what they look like. So one thing we have to think about when we're a daily vlogger is the weight and the size of these cameras because obviously we want them to be compact enough to survive and be in a pocket pretty much all day, every single day. So if we put these in a pocket, I probably should have chose a different pair of shorts to show you these, but anyway, these are my funky shorts. We put the G7X in one pocket and the S120 in another. They, they feel the same in most pockets. I mean, the G7X is slightly bigger than the S120, but I mean, Overall, they're pretty much identical. If you're wearing kind of like skinny jeans or something, then they will both be bulging. So you might need to put it in a bag or something. <laughs> okay, so on the Canon S120, which I'm using now, I've been using it for the last week and the white noise and the hiss in the background, I wasn't very impressed with. I mean, the image quality is amazing, but the sound quality just wasn't quite up to it. So let's be completely silent now and just hear what the audio sounds like. 
And now switching over to the G7X, we we'll go completely silent again. And can we hear any sort of sound difference? Do they sound the same? You make up that choice there because I think that the G7X is clearer, crisper audio and the S120 kind of has a lot of hiss and background noise. One thing why I absolutely love about the Canon G7X is its flip out screen. How flipping cool is that? One thing you gotta be making sure of when you're using it is you're not looking at the screen because when I'm looking at the screen, I'm seeing I'm like disconnected from you guys. So I've gotta make sure I keep looking into the lens. But I mean, you can, you can get in really close. I mean, look at that. Ooh, that's pretty funny. Man, I need to have a shave or something. Ooh. So can you guys believe it? I haven't actually come to Cafe Nero today. <laughs> I've come to get a coffee in flipping Costa. I've been, it's been a while since I've had a Costa down here. Is it really? Yeah, it has been yes. quite a while. And I've met with Mumsy. Hello. How you doing, Mumsy? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she always feels really awkward off camera. <laughs> We've just been chatting again about which one to go for. And what's your opinion, Mum? I think you need to go for that one. With the nice flip-out screen. The nice flip-out screen. Mm. It is nice. It's, it's still a tough decision. I still just don't know what, what to do. Mm. Hmm, decisions, think, yeah. decisions. You think what? I think you should bite the bullet and go for that one. Yeah. That's my professional opinion. Yeah, I think I, think I should as well, personally. Anyway, yeah. we've come to the end of our little chat. Little chat yeah. We need to uh, move. All right, so now i just come in, done a little bit of fitness on the punch bag. On this thing, whoa, and this little pooch, he's going flipping crazy. Look at him. What are you doing with that rope, eh? Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, that was a good little workout. I feel like I've got a little bit of sweat on. My heart is going up a beat or two. Holly's just got home as well. Oh. Look at yourself, Holly. I don't want to. You can look at yourself up here, look. There's a screen. Ooh. We can see ourselves, look. I can see what I look like. Ooh. <laughs> so we need to make a decision now, Holly. What to have for tea? Have this is probably more important than which camera to go for. When you look at this, do you look at the screen or do you look at the lens? You're meant to look at the lens. I know you're meant to. People get annoyed when you're like looking up here. Yeah, you got to train your eyes to stay there, not up there. What do you want for tea? What we just do is decide what you want for dinner. Well, it was a big, it's a big decision, Holly. It's a big decision. What to eat? Mm. How to refuel our bodies? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Tell me. What do you want? Mm. Vegetables. All right. So just for a laugh, I thought I would show you my old vlog camera and how different this new G7X is compared to the old Canon 265 HS. Now, if you look at this camera, yes, it is rather beaten up and stuff. But if we look at like a side-by-side -side comparison of these two, they don't even they don't even compare anymore. I mean, yeah, look at these two cameras. <laughs> this old 265 is well and truly had it, I think. This is alright for a backup camera, but G7X is so much better. And in the meantime, Holly has created wonders for tea. Look at you, what have you made us, Holly? No, you've got salmon. We don't even know if you like salmon. I've never had salmon, I don't think. And I was we could have salmon. Holly's a vegetarian, obviously, so mm -hmm. she's not having salmon. But we've gone for like a creamy, leaky sauce. And it just turned into a random With vegetables. new potatoes, with mint in, and then it's this hot. And salmon. a bit of salmon. That is very healthy, very wonderful. Okay, so we've now found ourselves into the low light style of the vlog and Holly is our glamorous assistant today. Mm -hmm. Holly is only being lit by her laptop. Okay, there's no other lights on in this room and as you can see, the G7X is standing out far superior over the S120 in these low light capabilities. Can you make your screen even darker, Holly? 
can. Wow, okay. okay. So the G7X is struggling slightly, but I mean, you can see the room in the G7X. You can't even see the room at all in the S120. That is, that's pushing it to its levels, Holly. A bit too far. Well, that is, this is like a pitch black room, look. There's hardly any light coming in here. Yeah, this is... Just a little bit of it. You look very well illuminated in the G7X there, Holly. Okay, and now I'm just going to show you a side-by-side -side to my old camera, the Canon 265HS, and the new <laughs> G7X. Look at the difference, guys. Look at the difference. Yeah, so work it, difference. Holly. Work it. I'm can you <laughs> Can you uh, make it darker again? Again, it's just being lit by Holly's laptop. Look at the difference in that. That's unbelievable. Okay, so after comparing these two cameras today, I personally think that the better camera is the G7X. Compare it to the S120, I just think that the S120's colour isn't quite right. The sound, I think, has got a lot of hiss and noise. Where the G7X doesn't have, like, any of that. Um, I think the colours just seem a lot more real, it's a lot better in low light, yes it has a flip out screen which is a lot easier to kind of get the composition of the shot and stuff. The S120 is a really really good camera and it is worth the money. You have to basically make the decision whether it's worth spending the extra money to go to the G7X. I personally think yes it probably is because I want my vlogs and I want my videos to look and sound the best they possibly can and I think the G7X is still in an affordable price bracket um, but the S120 is still good you just don't have the flip out screen as good low light and as good sound as the G7X so in conclusion for me the G7X is the better camera I would love to know what you think which camera do you prefer which camera do you have uh, comment down below and also this type of this type this type of vlog is a little bit different from what I'm normally used to. So if you like this sort of style video, kind of unboxing, comparing and all that sort of stuff, let me know in the comments below. That'd be awesome. I'd love to know if you want me to do more. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. You can follow us on our awesome daily adventure of vlogging. And in two weeks time, me and Holly are going on a five week adventure in America. And that's one reason why I wanted to pick the G7X to make my vlogs look and sound absolutely amazing because it's going to be an incredible time. Thank you for watching today's video. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Remember those three very important things, which are stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome. And we will see you again soon. Goodbye. What does that mean? Booking confirmation. Your booking was successful. Holy crap. This is a long holiday. <laughs>